Hello and welcome back. This is Kenshin 1913 and we are Let's Play Xenogears or Xenogears or whatever the hell it is. Anyways, in the last episode we got Emerald Buff and we're about to hit Solaris, but before we do that, let us look at our newly acquired Death Blows. But first, let's equip the speed ring on her. Now look at how powerful she is. She's more powerful than even Sitan and Faye. She has attack power of 67. Very nice. Here are her death blows. Very, very awesome. It took me a little while to get them. And I'd like to apologize for taking, for not uploading videos yesterday or even, well, yeah, yesterday because I just never got a chance to. But uh, we will be showing off Emerelda. And let me show you something awesome. Satan learned this ability called uh, Sun Key, which basically casts haste on everyone. So first we're going to cast Renki on Satan. And let's start showing some death blows. Again, Emerelda, she's made of nano machines, so I guess she can turn her body into all kinds of different things. It's weird. Alright, yes, yeah, so you're gonna cast water on all of us. So yeah, I hope everyone is going to have a happy and safe new year. And, uh, yeah, so, okay, so let's show this off now. Now this is gonna hit everybody. Boom! Look at that, in two turns you can have everyone have haste, which is very nice. Alright. Yeah, so her leg turns into a drill. Um, what's next? Triangle, triangle, triangle. And there you go. There's four of her death blows right there. I'll show them all off before we go inside the battling arena inside Kizev. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I hope everyone has a good new year. I apologize for not uploading yesterday. I didn't, actually, I didn't have any videos. Um, but I'm making them today before I head off to my little, there's like a shindig thing I'm going to be going to. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, she's super fast and super powerful. She's really strong. Very strong. In fact, she's probably one of the best characters in the game. She's like almost the complete package. She's physically powerful and she can do all kinds of magic. That's just insane. Gotta do this again. Alright. This is the second to last regular death blow. And she just cuts right through that rhino. And then we get eyeballs. And all kinds of neat things. Yeah, so she's actually the second fastest character in the game. Because Sitan is the fastest, and then she's the second fastest. And then it goes Faye, Bart... No, 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 Faye, Billy, Bart, Belly, and then Rico. And here's her final regular death blow. Kind of weird, but alright. Show off her elemental death blows. Tornado hand. Yeah, look at that. Weird and cool. So yeah, so she makes her body into like all kinds of things like like, uh, like the T-1000, or no, two, what was that one, that liquid one? Although, I the liquid Terminator, I don't even think you can turn it, his body into all kinds of things. I think you can just morph 
into people and turn into liquid, maybe? Well, whatever. Alright. Oh, I forgot to show the other one. Ah, well. So, yeah, this is one... This is like, uh, earth or fire. She summons, like, the devil to totally take care of that beast. Alright, trying to find a square. Ray count. Well, she just turns into a little ball and shoots off lasers. And gains energy back? No. Alright, well, whatever. So yeah, there's a Emeralda's uh, Death Blows. So very cool. Very, very cool. So let's head into Kizev. Now there's two things I'm going to show you. One that eventually is it's just useless. Yeah, you can head back to the Wildcat or whatever over there. Everything in this in this area is the same. Everyone says the same stuff. I don't know why. Anyways, there's this dog over here. And this, I don't know. His owner died. And he always waits for his master's return. Now, there's really nothing we can do for this dog now. Or ever, I think. They did open it up to do something. But, I don't know what. Yeah, so now we come in here... We can go over here, and now we gotta get disinfected. Decontamination. I think this time it's actually working, unlike last time, right? Or was it working last time? But yeah, no one says anything different. Which is odd. I've already looked into it, so that I wouldn't waste your time. So here's where the dog is. And, yeah, so... The dog goes back and forth in between... Oh, sorry for that thing. Yeah, the dog will go back and forth in between where it was in the beginning of the capital and there. Because supposedly the master is gone. Now, you can get dog food for him, but it really, I don't think it does anything. Like, I actually looked this up. It just looks like it's just kind of useless. So, yeah, that's one thing they, I guess, they never finished. Maybe there was supposed to be some sort of quest or something we, we, we could do for it. But. Oh, well. Now, we can head to the battling arena, or you can head back over here, and I'll show you, just in case you forgot, if you picked up any eyeballs and scales and stuff like that, you can sell them back over here at the Ethos shop. Uh, I'm not going to go in, because I'm not going to sell anything right now. Maybe later. Maybe on disc two, but let's go into the battle arena. Now, here we are at the battle arena. Now, we can actually... There's two types of modes we can go into. Let's just go here. Basically, they've opened up a second mode. Alright. So let's enter a match. And I'll show you... What is the game mode? Well, there's special mode one and special mode two. Special mode one is basically you fight in battle, just like you did when we were fighting Rico, alright? Now we do not get any battle points, because now we can actually gain battle points so we can get prizes here. In Special Mode 1, you do not gain any battle points, okay? With Special Mode 2, we do gain battle points, so that's pretty nice. And now, with this, we can choose either between Gear Level 0, which is easy, and Gear Level 1, which is normal. Now, in this 2, we can actually go to gear level 2, which is hard. And the difference between each gear level is obviously they're easier, but you get more points depending on which level you pick. So let's pick normal. So let's head on in, and I'll show you how these battles work. And then we'll go over... They're the same thing as when we were going to fight Rico. But actually, on the second disc... You don't have to use Wattal. You can 
can use anyone's gear. Like, they'll let you use almost anyone's gear. You can pick, like, any gear in the game. Even Omni Gears or gears you've never fought against. So now we gotta fight this guy. And now you kinda wanna... Well, you, it's not just this guy, but... You fight all kinds of different fellas and ladies. And what you want to do is beat them, but don't use any ether bullets. Because you don't want to... You actually, if possible, want to beat these guys flawlessly so you can get the maximum amount of, uh, of uh, battle points. So, okay, we beat them. Without using any of those... You know how he was shooting those ether balls? Well, you can do it too, but it lowers your HP. And you don't want to do that. So we won. Took a little long, took about 30 seconds or whatever. So let's see what she says. Hmm, not bad battle, keep it up. So I think we got the medium one. There's like four reward. there's like five rewards that you can get. Like great, good, and I think this is the good one. Um, and then like okay, and then bad, and then really bad. And from that, we'll get points. As you can see, Giru Kipir costs 30 gold. Uh, or gold, maybe it's not gold. Maybe it's points. Then then special battle points, 175. Special bonus points, you get 130. So overall, we got like 500 points. Okay. So now, we can take those points and transfer them in over here. Basically, on the second disc, you can get more points. So this thing is, I'm showing it to you now, but I might do some stuff later on the second disc because we can actually do more things. So, there's two groups of items that we can trade for, normal and rare. Let's go over normal first. And now we can trade our battle points in for various things. Now I actually wrote down what most of this crap does, so let me explain it to you. So this seed will make you lose weight, your, your, your character, and this will make you gain weight. Samson's hair you use in battle increases your attack power, your physical attack power. Over here, these, these two seeds make you gain a lot of weight. You don't want those. And then we have light armors. If you remember earlier, Ellie came with light armors. They're basically armors. They're like regular armor, but they come with... Uh, five percent or five point points in response. They're kind of they're kind of all right. I, I'm not gonna get light armors. Light armor plus three is actually armor plus sixty plus plus five response. Mirror armor lets you do uh, does fifty damage less with beam attacks and plus fifty armor. So that's pretty nice. Then you got the rings, which are basically for your character. You know, Fey, not the gears. And what what they do is they protect you from uh, various attacks, elemental attacks. So yeah, you can purchase those here if you need to. I don't think I'm going to. And then you have the veil armor that you can pick up for your gears. These obviously protect you. The water one protects you from fire. Fire protects you from water, and so on and so forth. And then you have these elemental things here, which are actually items that you use in battle. To put a certain element on your um, on your attack. Now this ether stone large is an accessory. It boosts your ether by five. Anti the uh, anti ether rock large uh, boosts your e uh, ether defense plus five. So let's look at the rare stuff. And for the rare things, this is some of the best stuff. M disc. If you didn't get it from Big Joe, you can buy it here. Power ring plus five, stamina plus five, speed ring plus three, I think. Galleon belt brings up your HP by 10%, which is kind of nice, but we already have the Yatimo belt. The Faye Jr. doll is actually for em Emerelda, and that, that boosts her critical damage. For Bart, it makes her critical rate go up, so that's pretty nice. This is only for Emerelda, these dolls. And then Billy it makes her accuracy and evasion go up. Bodyguard and Mind Guard basically are for the characters. They protect against like physical status effects and then mental status effects. Ether Doubler, you know what that does. Ether Guard protects against ether um, ether attacks like EP drain and stuff. 
The life stone is kind of worthless. It does two times the uh, HP restore, which is like if you're healing if you're healing someone and it restores 150 HP, then it'll heal 100, uh, 300 HP. So not not very good. And then you have S and X chargers. The S charger when you're using charge when you're using the charge command with your gears will actually uh, bring back 100 fuel instead of 30 and this one will bring back 200 fuel instead of 30. The Guns N' Roses uh, 50 there basically will uh, boost your attack, your gear attack power by 50%. Now these things are amazing. If you're looking into doing just physical attack power, these things are amazing. Usually I buy at least three, one for each of my main characters. But I don't get them through here, I usually buy them through someone later. Death Blower lets you do a Death Blow level 3, an extra Death Blow, which is pretty good. That's actually worth it. And then finally, the Almighty Speed Shoes. These things are amazing. The Speed Shoes, what they do, basically give you auto haste, your character. But the nice little bonus to that is that they also do an auto booster for your gear, so your gear is already boosted as well. So these friggin' things are amazing. Think of think of auto haste. It's on your character all the time. It never goes away. And then all, and then it also boosts your, your gear speed. So these things are totally worth it. But look how much they cost. It is where uh, we have 45,000 or 4,500 Jeep battle points, and we need 30,000 battle points. So, yeah, let's try to buy it. I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, yeah, because there's two different types of points. You got total battle points and regular battle points, and I think those add up. I forget exactly all that stuff, but, yeah. Yeah, so we need to get a lot of fighting in order to get all this stuff, but I'm not going to actually do any of that right now. I think that's all I'm going to go through. Eventually I will get some speed shoes because I've never actually gotten them. Like, but I know how to get them later. And that's what we're going to do. But in the next episode, we're actually going to head off to Solaris to the point of no return. So make sure to save your game and make a hard save in case you want to come back. So this has been Kenshin1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Alright, Ma.